Hey guys, what's up? This is Panzer Dragon, aka Luigi Dragon, and today we'll be doing a bronze analysis of a Volibear game. Oops, that's not Volibear, that's Yasuo. Um, yeah, so we're doing a bronze analysis of a Volibear game, and the goal of this is, of course, to point out his mistakes, uh, and what I would do, or like, you know, what mistakes, or what I would do, and put it into this playstyle in this situation. Like, you guys will see situations where, of course, um, I put my thoughts into it and, you know, just basically point out those mistakes and hopefully you guys will see kind of what mistakes are being, are wrong if you guys don't notice it. And, yeah, hopefully this obviously helps you get better at the game too. And th that's the point of this video, of course, since we're putting myself in someone else's body. Yeah, like, um, like, ma wait, not even Matrix. Okay, anyway, so, let's see where he starts. So he does start, um... Okay, that volume's kind of high. So we just start W. Um, I would start W too. If I got, if I had Draven to leash also, I would start E, just because you take less damage because of the fear. But in this case, it was just Zyra, and I think someone else warded or something. So, all right. So I guess Riven went ham on Katarina, and it looks like he wants to go for a level two cheese gank. This actually would work, um, just because Cat doesn't have her E yet. Um, yeah, it it would work to be honest. But the thing is, uh, it's kind of risky. Not really, though. It would definitely work if Eve didn't come. Um, so you see that flip right there? If he went from this angle, he kind of flipped her right, right here and flipped him this way. If he kind of juked a bit like right here, that for sure would probably be a kill that yeah, he can turn around. Just because the tower would probably get two hits on her, and the tower's really strong, level two. And, okay, so right here, uh, this is a mistake he does. He doesn't go to his blue right after his gank. Um, he goes to Wraiths. You should always... His smite was up, so he definitely could have done blue buff, yeah. So he could have done blue buff, and that's like a mistake I would point out. He could have just pot up too, since I think he was just thinking he was low on hit point. And uh, right here, I guess he's waiting for smite, so that's fine. Since he didn't make that one mistake with the wolves. I do want to kind of talk about that first gank, though. It's, 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 it's something I wouldn't do, but in this case, it's actually really smart, because... Um, Cat doesn't have her shun pull yet, so it couldn't work. Uh, definitely a flash would have killed it all. So, uh, you should go to your blue buff. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so, um, stuff is happening. Let's see, blue buff. Okay, so, Shivana is low, but she's being pushed. That's not a gank. This is also, this is an easy gank. I'd probably be camping mid. Everyone brings lots of CC. And, yeah, there we go. So, he's actually going there. Um, and of course, Cat's flash is down, so it could be easy. But of course, Volibear is actually really hard to gank with uh, Katarina, just because like um, Katarina has Shunpo, and Volibear has this movement speed thing that lasts for like 15 seconds. So yeah. All right, so I right here. This is where I would head top. This is where you can see free kills right here. Um, I would not do my wolves, even though my smite is up. There is like a free kill top basically. She did go MIA, but now she's actually back and staying around. So, it's actually a free kill for who, whichever jungler shows up first. Um, Evelyn, of course, is sneaky sneaky. Um, but, yeah, so, let's see. Alright, so, yeah, so what I mean is Evelyn actually notices first and saw this was the free kill. And, yeah, right here, this is actually smart of him. He doesn't go in 2v2, or 2v1, uh, just because he knows that Evelyn gets killed, I guess. And right here, since he already pushed it, it was actually r pushing before. And, oh, uh, I wouldn't chase like that. Uh, you won't really get anything. Um, he actually just pushed this. It was actually 8 minions versus 6. The thing with this, um, it was actually pushing onto Yasuo. I would have left it as the wave it was, but now he actually has to tax it because he actually... Um, he pushed with his roar, and he killed 2 minions earlier. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so he has a smite up. Let's see, what's he doing? Uh, I would probably either cover mid or Riven's going back, or... Ooh, get a gank! I'll or do my walls, but let's see if I do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. The fail. Sh the fail. Oh my. Uh, uh, that's a. F yeah. Please, cat. You can get. You can do better than that. Okay, so. And then I just woke up, so I have kind of the sniffles. Alright, so let's see. Free kills anywhere? No, not really. That's too. Uh, that's too mobile. So, I would go cover this right now. You're actually missing lots of this wave. And. Is he actually staying? Oh wow, he actually gets a sneak attack on him. Yeah, that's pink too. Um, they could definitely like 
kill him for sure. If uh, Varus turns quickly, actually they can't kill him. But uh, Volibear has his passive, so that's why he can't kill him. But again, like that's what I meant. The wave is actually probably better to get. He actually lost six waves, six minions. Okay, uh, six waves of minion XP and plus potential gold farm. I think yeah. So, um, and you don't know what the hell they have running double heal. All right, so I would do my red. Um, it is eight minutes. I would have done it probably earlier, but I had, I wouldn't have to cover bot lane. So yeah. And what else is there to see? Evelyn's doing her blue. Okay, so yeah. Whew. Okay, so let's see. Any ganks on the map? Not really. Bot could be potentially, but not really. It's you know, Volibear, so. This gank shouldn't actually work just because she has Shunpo. Um, see what I mean? Like, if she warded that earlier, that gank actually. Well. It, um, it was successful just because her hit point is actually really low. But, like, if Gat Shunpo'd earlier and didn't get flipped, that gank would never work, ever. Alright, so let's look at something on the map. Alright, so something's happening top. Uh, would I roam here right now as a jungler? No, I probably wouldn't. I already know Yasuo is dead, so right actually, I'd actually just do my blue and then cover top maybe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's actually not pushing, so there's no point in covering top. Um, you could tax it, but I don't see the point. Let's see. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what he's doing, but uh, let's see. So, alright, so right here, I actually see some chunkage on Shivana. So this could be an actual gank, but she does have her dragon form. So this gank probably might not work if uh, Volibear doesn't have flash yet. But of course, if Shivana's flash is down and her alt is down, uh, yeah. So I see that he's actually going in. Um, but Yasuo probably won't follow up, and that's what I meant. Like dragon form Shivana is hard to do, is a uh, hard to gank because she has that like super uh, dash. And right here, I would just tax this lane right now, um, just because. Shivana might be recalling, and well, I would tax this. You can actually potentially dive her because Volibear's passive is here, and you could tank a bit. Yeah, so there's lots of damage as his ult, so I would stay and maybe uh, pressure. But actually, she got lots of hit points, so it might it might be risky. Um, but it might work. I I'd, I'd probably try it. Yeah, because Yasuo has damage. If Evelyn comes though, it's it's bad that uh we we dive the tower. What the hell is that? Thresh. Alright, so I'd actually do a jungle instead of a uh, roaming and decisive uh, what the hell I'm doing. I would actually do a camp. Um, I would probably done my wraiths or wolves or whatever. And I guess he sees this. Wow, Thresh is really low. That was actually like a free kill. Oh, uh, yes. Flip the Volibear and then he should do the. Oh. So Yasuo actually didn't ult. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, Yasuo does ult. And will he get the kill? Um, oh, this is one thing too. If he activated his ult too earlier when he was just going on Thresh, they could have done this so much quicker and they wouldn't have chased like this far and deep. They're actually really deep. If Evelyn and uh, Kat actually roamed, they would actually both be dead because they chased so deep. But if he activated Thunderclaws, yeah, right here is a free kill. If he activated Thunderclaws, um, they wouldn't be in this deep. Uh, you could definitely die of this with your passive. Uh, if she has ult though, I don't remember if she used it. I think she did. But yeah. See what I meant about the, like, yeah, you go in too deep, um, he didn't activate his Thunderclaws earlier for that extra DPS, it gives like, 75 extra magic damage per hit, so like, Shivana would have been dead quicker if he activated earlier, and you guys understand. Like, he hold it, held on to his ultimate, um, just cause he thought he could not use it for that Shivana gank, but in terms, it just made him go deeper, and yeah. Alright, so, let me chase something. So, like, gank spot is actually kind of easy, Varus, uh, but Thresh, of course, is kind of hard to gank for. Thresh is, like, anti-melee. He just flays them back. Um, but, of course, they have Zyra, so there's a lot of CC. So, right here, his stacks is 60. Um, gank's on middle. Oh my god, that's a free kill right now, because uh, Cat actually jumped in with sight of Volibear, so that's really bad. They can actually get this kill made. No. Just taxes. Oh, now it's a free kill. She came back in. And that's a free kill for sure. So we prioritize that mistake and now they're gonna get a free tower. After this, I'd actually go to Dragon just because three people are dead on the other team. The mid 
two, that's two, one, that's three. So that'd be like a potential, oh wait, Draven's dead. So that's three before one, All right? All right, so I'm not sure what he's doing. I would do my blue buff, and I'm not sure why he's chasing. You shouldn't chase like that. It's Shivana you're chasing. She's got burnout, so she's not going to die. Um, Yasuo is AFK, so I would do my blue buff and then tack. I would, actually, I would tack this. I hit the tower before. I would tax that, and then I would uh, do my blue buff. Alright, so, uh, at least he's getting these conservative stacks off, and he's uh, healing a bit. So, let's see. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, that's a far ass. That's a pretty far gink. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Uh, okay, now it's actually, it's going to be free, kind of, if Draven can get in there fast. Yeah, that's a free kill. Fair should use his ulti on, uh, I don't even know, I'd probably use it on uh, Draven. But this is not else of him. Um, he's probably going to die. Um, is this a free dragon? Yeah, Riven is really far ahead. Draven is far ahead somehow. I didn't see, I thought he died, but whatever. Uh, and it's a free dragon. Alright, so, looks like cat. They're going for cat. Um, again, she's really, you know, juki, juki, juki. Uh, see, okay, so look at this. There's actually three top. Is this a fight we should fight? 2v3? It's not. <laughs> it's not. And I wouldn't not, I wouldn't go in this at all because this is yeah see look he's just taking damage uh, and could possibly die so you guys understand that was a bad fight and we shouldn't have fought it all right so now now it's actually a good fight hopefully actually no it's not wait now it is yeah what am i talking about they're all low volibear is passive so it's fine and ooh, oh shivana is the is the one girl to go on cat wait, okay okay so Look at this. Look at it. Actually, you're three rewind this. Um, all right. So look at this. So the thing with the uh, cat, she's really low, and the me this is a mechanical play. I'm gonna explain. Um, I wouldn't bite Shivana because I know she's gonna die. And I see cats coming in, so I press my W. I'd have the W cursor on her, and then I know my bite would instantly kill her. But actually, no one focused her, and once she jumped in, I would have just like pressed W on her, and she would have died. And the team fight would have actually gone pretty better, much better, to be honest. And yeah, the team fight would have been much better. It's just a mechanical thing I was thinking of. I knew Cat was gonna jump in. She sees a, a big wombo combo, so yeah. Um, obviously, I don't expect that uh, big of a mechanical sense, but like, uh, in my perspective, if I see Cat is gonna jump in at that low hit point, I have to immediately focus her. Okay, so. He went Spirit Visage Rush. That's kind of decent. Uh, Shivana is magic damage. Cat is kind of fed. Eve is actually building AP a lot. And there's just magic damage. Actually, Varus is a lot of damage. But he's actually really useless. Because uh, he just has a BT right now. Um, but later, as he gets a PD, he'll do a lot of damage to Volibear. What the hell? Oh. Alright, so this is actually a really good fight. And he should activate his ultimate. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Ultimate anywhere. Anytime you're auto attacking, you want to activate your ultimate. And yeah, it's a really good fight. They're going to probably win this. Flip the Threshy, and you get the Threshold. Uh, yeah, you should have went for Thresh first. Um, you can't chase unless you have Flash on Varus, so. Yeah, that kill would have been better. Um, right here, I'd actually. I would actually Baron. Um, they're actually a bit far, though, since they chase, so it's either mid or Baron. And actually, right here, I'd rather go for Baron, because. Baron and lower ELO is so much better than getting towers. It's just like, uh, well, you get more. Well, Baron's like, I don't know. I feel like it's a free win in lower ELO. Much better, I guess. Um, just because he gives us a bunch of raw stats. And people with towers don't really know how to prioritize an objective over that. So, I don't like that. And I think he should be doing more creeps. His, his stacks have been, I think, really high for the past while. Alright, so this is a good fight. 2v4. Yeah, keep going in. I would keep going in. She doesn't take a lantern. Uh, oh. Oh my god, he, he flayed her to uh, cat. <laughs> he flayed her to the cat. Alright, so this is actually... Let's see. This is actually a free Baron right now. Um, just because they got... Oh my god. Oh, he missed the... Alright, so this chase is like way to him. I would just... Uh, again, I would have probably just done Baron. Um, but now they're on the wrong side, and uh, he's gonna die. And I wouldn't go on this at all. I would go to my team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd run from her. 
It's a bit scary. I do, um... Oh, God. I would not fight this at all. Actually, would I? I think I would. Oh, but I see cats coming, so... Yeah, I'm gonna... I would back out, so... I would back out. Ribbon's low. She's not gonna do much, and... Again... Cat's coming, so gotta back out of that. I would've done the camp, just because I had conservative stacks. Dragon is up, of course, and they could've... Instead of chasing Varus, they could've also done Dragon. Oh, are they doing Baron? No, they aren't. Nope. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do... Um, so... Let's see. We can do, actually, Dragon... Uh, it's a free dragon. They don't, I don't think it's boarded. Um, but we have no woods this side, so... It's really hard to say if we can dragon or not. Um, okay, so, build path. You got Merc Treads. With Ancient Golem. That's mistake. That's build... That's item build mistake num tip number one. Don't build two tenacity things. Alright, so this is actually a really bad fight. They've got the flank onto Draven. He's probably going to instantly die. And, yeah, that's a bad fight. I don't know if he can disengage from this, but... Someone has to CC cat right now. And... I mean, River could go in, to be honest. She's just really scared. They're all tied up. I think they could have won this easier and got less... Or more... More, uh... <laughs> well, people didn't have to die. I'm just saying. If River went in earlier, they could have definitely won. But, um... Again, what am I going to say? Let's see. Alright, so build path. He's going to Wits in. Um, that's fine. The thing is, he's stacking so much magic resistance. After, this, after the Spirit Visage, I would have gone Randuin's just to be more tanky. Um, also, Ninja Talby would help because they have AD, Varus, Shivana, Evelyn, and yeah. Alright, so, let's see. So, Dragon is up, Baron is up, and okay, so they're actually all three bottoms, so this is actually a really easy Baron call. If he had a Sweeper Ward, it secured even more. Um, but the thing is, no one's actually reacting to Baron fast enough, they're just actually, they reacted so slow though, no one actually reacted was Draven, and, yeah. It'd be a really good Baron call, but, um, people actually reacted slow. And, oh yeah, actually Shivana's coming in, so, the thing is, I'd back out right here, he's actually trying to finish it, and this is the reason why they lose. Uh, if you see Shivana TPing in, you'd have to immediately back out. Um, just because, yeah, you got the back out, because, um, you're not going to burn it. Everyone's going to get in chaos. Everyone's going to get, <laughs> as you see, Draven and someone else backed out because they didn't want to burn it. I think it was Riven too. But if they actually probably stayed, they probably could have burned it, but I don't think so. Um, in that scenario, if everyone, everyone backs out, you got the back out. If, if Shivana's DPing in, uh, it's going to, she's going to hurt. She's also pretty fat too. Oh, wait, not really. Okay, so, um, the Baron Recall was good, but Shivana made a good TP. It's just, uh, also, uh, Riven didn't come in time, like, quick enough. And I think Yasuo was doing rolls or something, so. It was, it was a good call, but. Right here, you actually just turtle. If you just turtle and wait out the Baron, you'll win every other team fight. So I wouldn't, like, ha I wouldn't try and fight. Also, I'd check maybe Dragon if they didn't do it. Their inhibitor is down, so. I would check that. There's nothing to do if you're pushing mid. I'd probably push top or bottom. They're both pushing. Actually, top's pushing hard, but onto uh, this side. Um, but bot is actually really good. The wave is stacking, so you probably want to go bottom. Big waves. And there's, uh, yeah, again, nothing mid. Uh, there's really... And you don't want to fight a barrened up team just because they can probably kill you. The health of gen, the st free stats... Yeah, there. So you want to go bottom? Do do do. Come on, guys, to the marching party again. I would have checked dragon too, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's up. Actually, it probably is up. Wait, come on, wait, wait. Oh, it is up. All right, so all right. So all they have to do is really pressure that. Oh my God, Rare says rune on hurricane. Again, they don't have to dive. They just have to siege, and right here. He should turn on his alt and back out. Cat's coming in. This is like GG right here. She sees a lot of free kills for sure. Um, this is a dive onto a Baron buff team. I would have told my team to back right out. Again, I don't even my cat's going to clean up. She's going to clean up so hard. 
And yeah, they're a barrened up team. You shouldn't f like. There's two mistakes to say. Barrened up team. Uh, team fighting under a tower. And yeah, that's mistake. There's two mistakes in that one. All right, so. Um, all I have to do is really siege the tower. Okay, okay, okay. I can't even explain this in lower or low. Um, it's impossible to siege in lower or low because no one actually knows how to properly siege. So, I would not even push. I would just rather turtle. Um, someone's gonna be like, oh, I wanna dive. Come on, let's dive. 3v5. They have Baron or Brander. It's like, I don't know. I, I, uh, it's hard to tell your team how to siege. Um, but like, yeah, I wouldn't even go in my little or the silo. I would not even um, even risk trying to siege because again, no one knows how to siege. So I would just stay in my base until the Baron is off, and then we can win the next few team fights. So just chasing this. Oh God, no, 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 back up, back up. What the hell? Oh, German's there. Uh, let's see. So, all right. So, is this a good fight? It's a really good fight. Just because it's a 3v4. Draven is dead, but whatever. They can kill everyone. Zyra got a full ulti. And people are gonna die. And Yasuo gets a late ass ult. And Dragon is down. Alright, so this is a free inhibitor for sure. We can get that. And they're gonna get that. When's Baron up? Uh, yeah, back out of this one. Yeah, you're gonna back out of this one. I'm surprised they actually knew how to back out and not to push any further. This is, uh,. Surprising for Loria low. I'm surprised they didn't go for these turrets. Maybe that's like Bronze 5 who would go for those. Alright, again, the build order. Uh, he's going to need some armor. Varus actually has a lot of damage right now. Um, <clears throat> he should also get rid of these conservative stacks. They've been here for a while. Uh, yeah, so okay, so what did I do here? We just got uh, like a, a win? Something okay, so um, there's actually we can this is this is pushing on us. The only good thing to do is Baron's up in 40 seconds, so you can actually get this bottom tower for free. Wait, wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna get this tower just because minions aren't here, and yeah, minions aren't here. You don't have armor, and if minions aren't here, you're gonna do less damage. Uh, <laughs> so I would actually do these golems. Uh, I'd actually do these golems, and just to get my conservative stacks off. Um, yeah, I want to get rid of those conservative stacks off. So, see, this bottom tower did die. So, okay, so if we have pink, you should also get a sweeper, but that's fine. I sometimes leave it. It's hard to change trinkets. I know. Um, I you have to get used to it at some point in the game. It took me a while to get used to swapping my trinkets mid-game. But I eventually got the, the hang of it. So he's building, I guess, again, more magic resist, but he should be, should be building armor. I know he was heading this. He sees lots of magic damage, but AD carries will eventually do damage to you, so that's a thing. And Shivana does pretty... Blade of Rune King? Yeah, that's a lot of damage on, especially someone like Volibear. Alright, so, Baron Call. No, no, they're heading. They're heading. So find a pick or something. I wouldn't do it. All right, he's got the right idea, uh, but it's pro but it's not it's a bad idea because it might be warded. There's no pinks here. They didn't sweep this, and so look, see what I mean? This is warded. This is warded, and you're not gonna get a pick. Again, they should probably go top. This tower is low. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So let's watch this. Let's watch this. He should activate the ultimate right now. Kill cat. Uh, turn on cat, go in Shivana. I would go in Shivana, but he's a bit too di divey in. And yeah, I think Draven died. No, Draven's actually right here doing stuff. He's actually gonna go right on cat. And you see what I mean? He actually got destroyed by Varus and Shivana, who does more physical damage than ever. And ooh, oh my God, Draven! <laughs> Draven the man. Oh no, 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 Draven, no, Draven, no. Oh, Riven, Riven, why don't you follow your bad? Oh, uh, uh, the mechanical misplays. Okay, so um, at time, that team fight, he kind of got locked down, so I can't really say that he did anything wrong. But yeah, he didn't really do anything wrong. Like Oliver, you can't really do much wrong. Um, 
And, yeah, he just got locked down, so you can't really do anything mechanically wrong that team fight. Uh, maybe he could have gone on Cat immediately first, but whatever. Alright, so, he's got his uh, locket. Uh, he still needs armor. As you can see, Shimano and Ferris will kill him, and maybe Eve. And is this a good Baron call? No, it's not, not yet. It's not even pink, so. Pink's on the wrong side. And they're looking for something cute. I'm not sure what they're looking for. Ooh. Miss Katharina, but she has Shunpo. Okay, she's dead. Oh, that's a Wombo combo. I think Draven just died. Something's happening. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, yeah, he's going to Shivana. That's fine. He shouldn't appeal for Draven. But I think Shivana is like really strong right now. And I would run from this team. I would run from this fight. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Because it's a... Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a dead fight, so. And right here, what would I do? I'd probably... Again, those conservative stacks. I don't know. I don't remember if there was a time he could have got him, but there probably was. I wasn't looking out for it. I'm looking at the bigger picture, uh, as objectives and stuff. So right now, again, they just got Baron, so again, you want a turtle. Jeremy's super fed. He got... Okay, he didn't have Lost Whisper. That's why he's not caring. But he's got and he's got Atmos, so. Alright, so this is a really bad fight just because they have Baron buff again. You're trying to fight a Baron buff team. I don't think uh Yeah, so this is a, this is yeah. That's what I meant. You shouldn't really fight. Um again in lower ELO, like Yasuo's not even there too. I'm not sure what the hell he's doing, but in lower ELO, you don't want to fight any team with Baron ever. Like in high ELO, you can you do see people fighting in high ELO just because they know that uh, they can get like a pick and then run away after um, but in lower ELO it's obvious you can't really do that just because uh, well they don't have really that big of a game sense so right here again I would just turtle I would have just turtled until that Baron buff is gone then I can fight and then we can win a 5v5 and well uh, if you built some armor oh, why does Thresh have so much armor? if you built some armor um, he would also be really tanky against this type of uh, things so one thing so there's five things I noticed that were kind of mistakes this game one uh, mid late kind of get rid of more conservative stacks Two, build armor Varus is doing damage three don't build merc treads and ancient golem at the same time Four, uh, hmm I don't remember I kind of forgot what happened early game and five yeah that's really all I can say is uh, those are the mistakes I really noticed and I hope you got. I hope you get you and everyone else enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Patrick Dragon, and I will see you guys next time.